Environment design won't freeze you again when you convert your scene using Proxify in Blender. This week we're going to work with proxies and the way you do this is by having the high density model like this one, this monkey head Suzanne and then you have another head in this case which is a low polygonal model. So now you select it, press F2 and rename them. Um, the high polygonal will be called Suzanne.high and low one will be Suzanne.low. This way we can differentiate them. We're going to use the low one as a proxy and the way you do that is by first obviously installing the plugin, this button, edit preference, install. And from there on you're going to see in the object property tab the uh, viewport display. It's going to have new options. And from those options, you first select your high polygonal model and then you select the picker and with the picker, you're going to choose the low poly model. And once you have that, you can already activate that and as you can see, now the high polygonal model has been transformed into a low proxy version. Let's rename this accordingly, high and then low. Now, I'm going to do the process once again. I'm selecting first the high polygonal and then with the picker the low polygonal. And now I'm going to hide the low poly so I can only have the high poly. So you can see this. Obviously, it's the high density one, so we make sure that's the right one. And as I prove this works, I'm going to make a quick render here on Eevee. I'm going to set a light. I'm going to um, put some values here and there. And you can see that once I switch this on, I immediately have more speed on my viewport because I'm using the proxy model. Now I'm going to press F12 or render, and then my render will come out with the high resolution model. Isn't this amazing? This is fantastic. This is production ready stuff. So you can download the add-on and now let's try it with cycles, all right? So it's going to be the same thing. I have a low polygonal uh, model on my viewport, but at render time, it's going to get swapped. And then I'm going to be using the high polygonal model. It's, it's just fantastic. And you have many other options. Let's change here for another slot because it's a little bit noisy. Let's check denoiser, just the default denoiser. And then let's uh, render again in cycles. And as you can see, it's mint pristine. It's perfect. I like it. It works. It is ready. You can see the scopes here, the colored scopes here. Everything is as it should. All right, so let's go for another example where you can specifically use this technique. Environment design is one of the heaviest things that you can do on 3D production. All right, so it, it's, it's really all about the details. And of course, your viewport will lag. And why is that? Because the average model will have around, I don't know, 15 million, 20 million polygons and it's going to be very heavy if you want to create a big city or a forest and then you populate this all together. It's just too heavy. You have to render by layers or in this case, render with proxy. So in my case, I'm going to select this building, the high polygonal building, and then I'm going to name it, of course, dot high. And then I'm going to create boxes that will represent the low version for the building. Now, you have to make sure that the high polygonal building has its origin at the center. Okay, if this is very important because if, if the origin is at the center of the world, then you're going to get a displaced proxy. And you don't want that. You want the proxy exactly in the same place than the original model. And this is why you need the origins to match. All right, so you have a lot of different options here. And even you can transform your proxy into boxes because once you get a lot of proxies in your scene, you don't want to see them as solid objects. You would probably like to get even more speed by switching them to wireframe view. And you can do that straight from the panel. Another important thing is that your object proxy should not, I'm sorry, your original high polygonal mesh has the proxy connected before any kind of animation. All right, that's important too. Because if it has animation, then your origin is going to have um, uh, different 
different locations, different transformations, and even if you apply transformations, it will not work. So with all of that being said, let's go and try the same thing. I'm going to select the building, and of course, I've moved it into another collection, which is called proxy. And from there on, I can just simply apply and switch it on. And you can see the result here. So let's try this. I have my low polygonal building on the scene and now I'm going to press F12. And if you did everything okay according to this uh, video, then you should get your high polygonal model right in the scene. This is just perfect. This is fantastic. You can see it that right there. It's working perfectly. So now you can, you know, texture this and create fire smokes, everything you want. And speaking of that, you should check out the link that is right here down in the description of this video so you can join the thread for Proxify with better ideas. Speaking of training, you can also visit my store to get more videos about Blender and 3D training. Also, if you would like to support us, please join patreon.com slash 3D Cine TV where we're creating this animated model from Blender into augmented reality. There is a special announcement I would like to do. BlenderSecrets.org is a website where there are a lot of professional tips written by Jan van Dem Hemmel. He's written the Blender Secrets Volume 1, 2, and 3. In the website, you can find the three volumes all together, or you can get them all three with a bundle discount of 20% here on the link on Gumroad. If you click there, it's going to take you to Gumroad where you can download them. And once you download this book, you can even rate them. There's also a free copy on the site on the website so you can download it before you buy it. And the thing that I like about this book is that many different professionals from different fields are using it to create more amazing stuff in less time. And here's the twist. On the website blendersecrets.org, you're going to find 60 second tutorial videos for each page of the book. Yes, that's right. So, even if you want to see what the effect will look like in the end, you can come here to the site and play back the video and the video will tell you exactly how to set up your scene or your assets to be rendered on 3D like this amazing looking VDB volume. You can find that, all of that inside volume number 3. Alright team, that was all for now, but in the next video we're going to be covering something that is really, really important when you're in productivity. You see this little device on the left hand? We're going to talk about that to set up with Blender in either sculpting or grease pencil. You don't want to miss that, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button. Thank you very much.